Hey YouTube subscribers, just wanted to make a quick little video on a nifty little paddle keyer that I just picked up uh, from QSK LLC. And uh, it's very simple. Uh, you've got two connections in the back here. You've got your power connection and you've got your keyer input. And so I'll just plug those in real quick here. And we'll get started here with the demonstration. And we'll give it some power here. And this runs with a wall wart that comes with the, I'll get the shot here, comes with the um, keyer. So now it's all plugged in. And then when it comes up, you can see the little LEDs right there are uh, all signed in. And um, I, I have a Begala key, which is nice. Uh, and it's uh, a lot of fun, but I tell you what, this has become my new go-to keyer. Uh, I really enjoy it. So I'll just do a little demonstration on uh, how, uh, how easy it is. Uh, I'm on the frequency where these guys actually hang out. Actually, I'm a little bit off here. It's uh, 3605. So if you ever want to run down and talk to the uh, guy who makes this, which is Bob, N1KW, uh, you can... Uh, it's hard to do this when you're watching the video in on the screen. I'll get there. Hang on a second. But uh, you can go down and... Uh, on this frequency, these guys are usually hanging out uh, late afternoon talking, and uh, it's a good bunch of guys. I think you'll uh, enjoy hanging out with them. So anyways, let's uh, do a little demonstration here. I've got it in full QSK. I'm not a very good send, uh, CW person as far as speed goes. These guys, they're really good. Uh, in fact, they just come on this frequency just for the people that don't um, do CW so they can talk to them. But most of the time, these uh, CW aficionados hang out on uh, uh, CW frequencies, and they're um, go on a town at uh, like 50 words per minute, but I'll try my hand here at just 20 words per minute, just a general CQ here, so. There you go, there's a mistake. There you go. See how easy that works? It's just very, very smooth, nice and easy. So uh, what's nice is there's no moving parts, and I'm kind of a, um, what do they call them? Uh, a slapper, a paddle slapper. I like, you know, going that way. Uh, and you can still do that with these, but you know, these these are the ones you're kind of made to kind of like hold on to. And uh, this is kind of made more for paddle slapping, I think. Uh, although there's a sensitivity adjustment under the cover here, so you can make it so that you can actually touch the paddles. Uh, I like it real sensitive, um, and so that way you can still hold on to the paddles if you want and, and operate real close. So, anyways, just wanted you guys to see this. Uh, this is not a new uh, product. Uh, Bob made this thing in the background in 2015, I believe, and uh, he's actually been at uh, Hamvention and uh, showed at a few other shows. But I figure since it's kind of a niche product, unless you really see it and get a recommendation from someone, you uh, might not want to take a chance, but I give it a full, uh, full-throated, uh, wholehearted uh, endorsement. And uh, if you're looking for a really nifty key, uh, you know, give this uh, touch key or a try. I think you'll really like it. Uh, the price is $159, and I will leave a link to it on the uh, uh, YouTube video below. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll try to give you some more content in the future. Sorry, it's been a little while since I put something out there, but uh, this is uh, a nice little product I'm real excited about and I, I hope you'll uh, give it a try. 7-3 from K9AT.